So like, you know, families who've gone through the special education process, I think there, there can be some frustrations of how long that process can take as far as like when you go through referral evaluation and let's say we, we find a, um, a student eligible for uh, individualized education plan, that can take over a hundred days to go through that process. That's a long time. So it's not, it, it doesn't address that issue of uh, prevention or uh, that immediate response. Uh, so the model that, that I really um, am hopeful for in our district is going to start moving forward with uh, planning the implementation of this is uh, a model called multi-tiered multi systems of support. Just rolls off the tongue. Uh, <laughs> so MTSS. Um, so if you hear the acronym MTSS, it's a preventative uh, model that addresses academic, behavioral, social, emotional needs of, of students. Uh, so the concept of it is give students what they need when they need it. Um, so you're not waiting um, for that, like use the analogy, like deferred maintenance on that leaky roof kind mm. of thing. Um, so Who's doing that? Um, are there districts here in New Hampshire or elsewhere that are doing it? That yeah, so, that? yep. So New Hampshire, uh, they have uh, some technical assistance mm -hmm. on the, the mental health side. It's called MTSSB. The B is for behavioral health. Uh, the model that we're particularly interested in is uh, the Boston Public Schools have uh, a great model that they've uh, sort of put together over the years. They've kind of been the pioneers where um, they have those tiered uh, or that continuum of supports and services at the academic, social skills, behavioral uh, level. Uh, but they also have partnerships with like local community providers, university training uh, programs, hospitals. Uh, so it's building that continuum of care with different access points, like what's good for everyone. Um, what are the, that, that secondary tier where uh, you need like a little boost uh, to sort of like get back up. Uh, and then that sort of like ongoing support and care that's more intensified um, that you're going to need like a really good sort of comprehensive team uh, to support the student moving forward.